Grammar Session, Subject Verb Agreement, Part 2. Hello again. Before we continue the second part of our grammar lesson, let's remember what Subject Verb Agreement is. Subject Verb Agreement simply means that the subject and the verb must agree in number. This means that both need to be singular or both need to be plural. The first thing you need to do is to find the subject. Then you make sure that the subject and the verb agree in number. Now we come to a very important rule of subject verb agreement. We have seen the conjunction AND and now we will see the rule where the two subjects are connected by the conjunctions OR, NOR, EITHER OR and NEITHER NOR. In this case, the subject that is closest to the verb decides the number of the verb. In sentence number one, neither the director nor the actors is or are following the lines closely. The subject is director, actors. These two subjects are joined by the conjunction neither nor. In this case, the subject that is closest to the verb decides the number of the verb. Actors is a plural subject, so the verb must be in its plural form. Neither the director nor the actors are. 2. Either the boys or their friend Larry hold or holds the record. In this sentence, boys, friend, is the subject. These two subjects are joined by the conjunction either or, so the subject closest to the verb decides the number of the verb. Friend is a singular subject, so the verb must be in its singular form, holds. 3. The accountant or his clients know, knows the combination. In this sentence, accountant and clients are the simple subject. Client is the subject closest to the verb, so it decides the number of the verb. Clients is plural, so the verb must be plural. The accountant or his clients know the combination. So what is number four? Rule, sorry, number five. Rule number five says that with compound subjects joined by or, nor, either or, neither nor, the verb agrees with the subject nearer to it. Now we come to the rule of subject verb agreement with indefinite pronouns. They're called indefinite pronouns because they do not refer to a specific person or item. They can be singular, plural, or both, depending on the object of the preposition. Singular indefinite pronouns are anyone, everything, nobody, either, each, and much. Plural indefinite pronouns are both, few, many, several, and others. Uh, indefinite pronouns that can be both, singular, and plural, depending on the object of the preposition, are all, none, any and most. Now we come to the rule of subject verb agreement with indefinite pronouns. Indefinite pronouns like anybody, somebody, nobody, everybody, anything, something, nothing, everything, anyone, someone, no one, everyone, each, one. These indefinite pronouns are always singular, so they take singular verbs. We say, everybody wants to be loved, nobody likes to be left out. Now, plural indefinite pronouns, like both, few, many, and several, always take plural verbs. Many have expressed their views, not many has expressed their views. Both of us were going to the party, not was going. 
So rule number six that says that singular indefinite pronouns take singular verbs and plural indefinite pronouns take plural verbs. There are some indefinite pronouns that can be singular or plural depending on the object of the preposition that follows. These indefinite pronouns are all, some, none, any, and most. Some indefinite pronouns like all, any, some, none, more, and most can be either singular or plural depending on the object of the preposition. Look at this example. All of the cake is gone. All is the indefinite pronoun. Of the cake is a prepositional phrase and cake is the object of the preposition. Cake is singular, so the verb is singular. Singular, here we have a singular idea since all is referring to cake. All of the cupcakes are gone. Cupcakes is the object of the preposition. It's a plural noun, so it takes a plural verb. Plural idea, since all refers to cupcakes. None of the meat has spoiled. Meat is the object of the preposition. It takes a singular subject, singular idea, since none is referring to meat. And finally, none of the apples have spoiled. Apples is the object of the preposition, so it takes a plural verb. So what's rule number six? The indefinite pronouns all, some, none, any, more, most can be either singular or plural depending on the object of the preposition.